Away from the spotlight, Denzel Washington is dedicated to his wife, Pauletta. Just like any couple, they've had their ups and downs, but have managed to make things work. Here are some things you might not know about their marriage. Denzel sat down with Oprah Winfrey and talked about the first day he met Pauletta. It was 1977, and Denzel was arriving at a hotel restaurant to work on the movie Wilma, while Pauletta was on her last day of filming. Denzel told Live with Kelly and Ryan things didn't get serious until a year later when they were at a party together. While there, Denzel casually talked about going to watch a play. Denzel went to see the play, and unbeknownst to him, Pauletta was there also. She arrived late and grabbed a seat. As the lights turned on during intermission, Denzel looked over and was surprised to see Pauletta sitting near him. It sounds like Miss Pauletta was doing some plotting, but can you really blame her? For their first date, Denzel told Jimmy Kimmel he wanted to splurge by taking Pauletta around town in a taxi. They went to dinner and he ended up spending all his money at the restaurant. When they left, they hailed a cab, but at that point, Denzel was out of cash. He watched as the meter increased more and more, and when their ride came to an end, Pauletta had no choice but to pay the fare. With the millions he's made since then, Pauletta probably isn't paying for any more dates. More importantly, their love has flourished and Denzel has publicly given his wife the respect and credit she deserves. People Magazine reported that while accepting his Lifetime Achievement Award, Denzel said, I would not be alive without Pauletta Washington. I wouldn't survive. He added that it was Pauletta who taught him about real and unwavering love, and they tied the knot on June 25, 1983. Typically, the proposal is one of a couple's most treasured memories. This isn't the case for the Washingtons, though. Denzel actually proposed to Pauletta three times, and for unknown reasons, she turned down his first two attempts. Due to the multiple rejections, Denzel's memory is a bit foggy about the whole situation. When Kelly Ripa asked him to describe how the last proposal happened, he scrunched up his face and said he couldn't even remember. For a man who makes his living memorizing whole scripts, it's pretty strange that he can't remember how he proposed to the love of his life. While on the T.D. Jakes show, Denzel explained how he depended on his athletic ability while growing up. And according to Oprah Magazine, he got into a little trouble as a kid. Pauletta, on the other hand, was a whole different story. Denzel said, My wife's family had a great education. My wife was a child prodigy. I married up. Not only that, Denzel said Pauletta's family had a love and closeness he didn't get to experience during his childhood, especially since he grew up in what he described as a broken home. Seeing Pauletta with her family made him realize that he wanted to have that same kind of family bond one day. Denzel told People Magazine it's easy to keep his marriage afloat by stating, I do what I'm told, I keep my mouth shut. He has no problem allowing Pauletta to take control because she has made their house a home, all while raising and protecting their children. Denzel added, she sacrificed for them, she did the heavy lifting. His demanding career left him with no option but to have a hands-off approach to parenting. However, it worked for them because Pauletta's child-rearing skills have positively impacted their offspring. Their son, John David, played professional football with the St. Louis Rams and had a starring role in the HBO series Ballers. Their daughter, Katia, graduated from Yale and has worked as a production assistant on films such as Django Unchained, The Equalizer, and The Birth of a Nation. Their son Malcolm played basketball at the University of Pennsylvania and graduated with a degree in film studies. He now works as a producer. And their daughter Olivia is following in her dad's footsteps. The NYU graduate has snagged acting roles in The Butler and Empire. Just like any high-profile couple, the Washingtons have had their fair share of issues. Being a star and, and, and all of that, temptation's all around. Mm -hmm. It's all around, you know, and, and I haven't been perfect. I'll be quite candid about it. And what I, do you mean? Well, I just, you know, we've gone through ups and downs. While filming the 2003 film Out of Time, rumors emerged he was having an affair with his co-star Sanaa Lathan. Sanaa told Vibe magazine the rumor got started because the movie had a love scene between her and Denzel. She said people took that and translated it to real life. 
Things remained quiet for Denzel and Pauletta up until June 2013, when Vibe magazine revealed they spent their 30th anniversary apart. Weeks later, photos of Denzel allegedly kissing a blonde woman on the lips at a Malibu house party were being shopped to several media outlets. The photos were never published, leading many to assume Denzel used his power, influence, and massive checkbook to keep them from seeing the light of day. An insider told Star Magazine the couple was spending time away from each other, and Pauletta had moved to New York to contemplate if she wanted to end her marriage. Through their rep, they eventually denied there was trouble in paradise and assured their fans that they weren't separating nor getting a divorce. Thankfully, they weathered that storm, but Pauletta seemed to hint at his infidelity in an interview with Ebony. She said Denzel knows that she provides him with the kind of stability he needs, and added, that's what gives him strength, regardless if he misuses it. I can't dwell on that. Denzel's schedule takes him away from home a lot. When their kids were still young, they decided it was best not to drag them around the world to accompany their dad on set. This meant Pauletta was pretty much on her own. Denzel told Oprah Magazine, Pauletta was the consistent one who made breakfast every day and took them to school. She taught them their prayers. According to Denzel, spending so much time apart didn't cause any issues. In fact, he believed it probably helped their relationship. Speaking to Oprah, Denzel admitted, instead of coming back from long breaks all lovey-dovey, he would come home and start some mess. Pauletta and the kids would have their own routines, and Denzel would pop in and aggressively point out what was being done wrong and how to do it the Denzel way. Once he noticed Pauletta was getting frustrated with him, he decided it was time to make some changes in his attitude. In 2016, rumors circulated that their marriage was ending. Why? because according to Globe magazine, their whole relationship was about keeping up appearances. An insider said the marriage was on its last leg after Denzel had been caught stepping out several times. Well, of course those breakup rumors were false because the couple is still going strong. In Hollywood, where quickie relationships are the norm, Denzel and Pauletta have one of the longest running marriages. Pauletta told Extra that faith is the glue that keeps things intact. As for Denzel, he summed it up perfectly in a Reddit AMA by saying the key to a successful marriage is to never give up on each other. He added, it's a commitment. It's not all the honeymoon. It doesn't last forever, so you work at it. Let us know your thoughts on Denzel and Pauletta's marriage. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.